Have you ever found a fossil outside your house? What if I told you about someone who revolutionized the field of paleontology with the fossils she discovered just a short walk from her family home? Mary Anning was born to a working class family in Lyme Regis, Dorset in 1799. From a young age, she was a natural born fossil collector, selling ammonite fossils she found below the coastal cliffs to travelers at her family shop. At age 12, she and her older brother Joseph excavated an entire ichthyosaur skeleton, which they sold to a wealthy patron for 23 pounds. In December of 1823, Mary Anning found a nearly complete plesiosaurus specimen, which was described alongside the first dinosaur, Megalosaurus, on February 20th, 1824. Mary Anning spent most of her life in poverty, venturing out to the cliffs daily in search of fossils by which to make a living. As a woman, she was not admitted to the Geological Society of London, and was not even allowed to attend meetings as a guest. Descriptions of new fossils rarely mentioned her as the source of these fossils, and oftentimes even used her own illustrations. With the 200th anniversary of the description of her plesiosaurus this past Tuesday, I thought it was important to mention this early 